Welcome to the Contemporary Arts Center's exhibition, Basira Khan, Wait on History. This exhibition is part of the 2022 Photo Focus Biennial, a regional celebration of photography and other lens-based art. Basira Khan uses a variety of media, including sculpture, collage, video, and photography. At the center of the exhibition are two monumental sculptures that demonstrate the artist's interest in architectural signifiers of power. The arch includes panels incised with floral motifs, two silhouettes of the artist's body, and symbols from the artist's practice, such as the triangle, the crescent moon, and the microphone. These images suggest the importance of the artist's identity. The arch evokes Islamic and Roman architecture, but where a Roman arch was used for triumphal imagery of rulers, Khan's arch is a testament to the artist. Instead of the rounded Roman-style arch, Khan evokes pointed arches used in Islamic architecture. In art history, the Romans are typically credited for arches. However, the Mesopotamians and later the Persians used arches well before the Romans. Islamic architects arch design and functionality. Similarly, the Greeks are known for their temples. However, Many aspects of Greek design, such as the Ionic Order, were inspired by trade and colonization in the Middle East. Khan references this colonialist history by wrapping the columns in Kashmiri rugs, evoking the eventual copying of Kashmiri rugs by the Dutch and the English in the 18th and 19th centuries. For a recent solo exhibition at the Brooklyn Museum, Khan researched the institution's Islamic art collection with a focus on tools, rugs, and garments created for religious or scientific purposes. These prints feature the artist performing basic gestures with these works. By inserting their body and hands with the objects, Khan engages in an act of reclaiming these histories while highlighting how the same care afforded to objects is not consistently applied to individuals and communities. The series, Law of Antiquities, recalls the unseemly ways in which many Islamic objects have entered museum collections through colonialism, imperialism, and cultural appropriation. These objects have been framed as ornamental or decorative rather than as sophisticated tools that have played a fundamental role in the development of the arts and sciences in Western cultures. Consider the name for Basira Khan's exhibition, Wait on History. As you've experienced some of the works in this show, what feelings and ideas do you think Khan is trying to convey?